In times of great upheaval and global challenges, new technologies are enabling us to work together. But at the same time, we are becoming increasingly vulnerable. Increasing connectivity leads to new dependencies, leads to new uncertainties, and to systemic risks. And once interrelations take effect that no one anticipated, things happen that are difficult to predict or to quantify. What we can learn is to maintain the functions of a system as well as possible. We can learn to apply optimal strategies to recover from disruptions quickly and at reasonable cost. We can learn to adapt. To solve these complex decision-making problems, we need to identify appropriate tools and link them in a meaningful way. Good afternoon, Prof. Hanan, jury, committee, and my colleague. My name is Ouda Abu Ouda. I'm presenting to you today the evaluation tool for AI and data in climate change adaptation strategy, a case study for infrastructure in Dubai. As shown in the previous uh, slide or show, is we understand that the artificial intelligence and data management can help in achieving climate change strategy goals. So it's important to understand how to evaluate this tool and measure the effectiveness of improving the smart infrastructure goals. As an introduction, the smart road and infrastructure is the ability of road infrastructure to capture the data and act based on the collected data in order to monitor, measure, analyze, and communicate the information to operator and road user. There is a three layer of smart infrastructure communication. It's the input, which is data collection, and the processing, which is data management, in order to do uh, decision making as an output of this data. As the benefit of smart road and infrastructure, we will reduce the traffic congestion, carbon emission, and enhance the traffic safety, and also the response to the crisis, and reduce the cost and time for the team. The research problem is about the climate change strategy, and the climate change strategy is consisting of four major elements that were vulnerability and mitigation, adaptation, and resilience. By using the data collection, and data processing and artificial intelligence machine learning and optimization we will have a model that will affect the climate change strategy goals and the main concern here on this case study how to evaluate this model in order to understand the effectiveness of measuring and monitoring these four elements of climate change strategy Our literature review is shown about uh, what's the mitigation uh, measures that in the climate change. It's the most common strategy aimed to reduce the impact of climate change. And the adaptation is to cope with the impact of the climate change. And the vulnerability is the ability of the system to be more or less affected by the climate change and impact and the resilience finally is the ability of system to recover more or less easily so the, the mitigation it will go about the action that the human have to do in order to reduce the impact of uh, climate change and the adaptation it's concerning about uh, the impact it will happen soon or later than so we have to adapt our uh, activity in order to reduce the impact of climate change. The vulnerability also and resilience are working together in order to ensure that we uh, uh, the, the, to reduce the impact of the climate change. So the other uh, on the other hand. The maturity assessment of the artificial intelligence and data system rely on five main variables availability of strategy, resource, 
data requirements analysis model and data governance and we'll show this in details in the uh, methodology in the methodology part we have four main items the first one which is identify the claim the climate change requirement as adaptation strategy short mid and long term plan which is include the identified five elements of the climate change based on the uh, study done in the united arab emirates which is the sea level temperature humidity wind speed and precipitation the second uh, term it's identified the tool and the systems as a data center asset management required management system sensors variable messages signs that will communicate and collect the data and to, to, to introduce the, the information to the, the decision maker the third stage we will conduct a focus group as in such study we cannot uh, uh, to, we cannot do the survey as this as a specific and technical study we prefer to do uh, the focus group based on the Delphi method and we'll describe how we'll do this Delphi method uh, in the in details later but mainly this conduct evaluation session with the expert in the field to understand which level uh, the organization or the country have in terms of uh, climate change adaptation strategy. The final one will do the benchmark and the result with the international similar field uh, to understand and to collect the similar data in the field for infrastructure internationally. Climate change requirement. Based a study done by Dubai Municipality about the climate change element that we have to understand, they found that the total precipitation and sea level rise and temperature and extreme will have an extreme impact and they will have a variety or change uh, or a big change in the future during the next uh, hundred year, which is having an impact and we have to adapt and to mitigate these changes in the future in the future monitoring and controlling through artificial intelligent tools and machine learning tools to predict the risk uh, came from these uh, four elements this process required validation in order to provide a decision about how we will use the impact of uh, these four elements identify tool and system there is the system required which is called uh, to collect the data like SCADA system billing system sensors control centers uh, GIS uh, pin management ticketing CCTV and tool system as I identifying the tools and system there is main element you have to understand that which is the control system it's the hub of the data uh, management and data storage and data uh, processing in Dubai and in United Emirates there is uh, three uh, type of this building which is one in Abu Dhabi and two in Dubai this is IT asset 2020 and this is uh, a SQ uh, command control center as a type of intelligent traffic system model in UAE, there is also elements called traffic count uh, item. There is also variable message sign and also the traffic uh, uh, gates, which is called SALIC, that to reduce the traffic congestion. And this is really have an impact of reducing uh, the carbon emission in the high uh, traffic or in the peak of the selected road now uh, focus group uh, in this uh, we as as uh, described previously we use a delphi uh, tools to understand uh, the maturity level of the managing data uh, first stage we have to conduct we conduct uh, a bibliometric search this uh, through science direct and google scholar and local data we collect, define, and debate the data. 
uh, we develop the question we select the participant and select main themes all once we identify all these elements we will call for such a meeting uh, called this as a conduct uh, to conduct the delphi method the strength of these tools is you will collect all the experts in the field to understand and to evaluate the selected tools uh, and also uh, the team member they can negotiate their result and their answers in order to under to get more uh, accurate data and more accurate result in the second st final stage we'll do the benchmarking we will review the result of the evaluation we we'll collect similar result of the of the other country and will identify the gap and improvement opportunity then we will have a validated model or validation model for our uh, evaluation model based on the methodology and literature review we propose an evaluation model for the data and artificial intelligence system uh, first uh, the climate change data strategy it's contain about the clear direction of the strategy the clear, the clear structure of implementing this strategy and the availability of the execution plan uh, then we will have uh, the competency and resources we have to understand if there is availability availability of uh, expert in the field development of the source are available and resource availability in terms of budgeting and in terms of tools that required to have uh, the competency in place to manage this strategy then data needs we have to understand the, nat the data needs the to identify the required data collection and data structure and managing data operation and the model of analysis this three question identify the analysis model identify the data mining tools and data storage finally we have the monitoring and controlling which is include data reports governance and enforcement framework and communication and dashboard in the focus group we will uh, present all these questions and we will uh, vote about uh, the implementation in the organization or in the country so like in the clear the first in the climate strategy and data strategy clear direction is there a clear direction uh, we will have a matrix to identify this later uh, in the next slide i will present it is there a clear structure or not this is based also the in, uh, based on the knowledge their knowledge and their uh, feedback and the uh, as they are expert in this field the evaluation matrix the evaluation matrix they have uh, there's two item of evaluation matrix which is the implementation level it's which level they are implementing it's uh, early stage or, or or maturity stage the comprehensive the comprehensiveness which is uh, shows that it's applicable for all item in the asset area in the infrastructure or it's implemented only in a certain area or it's cover all area of uh, of the country or of the organization so there is a matrix that shows that where is the poor area and where is the improve the need the improvement and the acceptable that we need a minor improvement and this area which shows that the higher maturity level in the uh, system the result after conducting the delphi session with the expert we identified uh, we got uh, with the result based on the voting system the, uh, it's not voting system we can say it we can say that the uh, perception of the expert about the av availability of the requirement uh, for climate change uh, climate change data strategy then uh, the, t the team uh, vote that there is a clear direction which is they because they rated as 80 out of 100 there is a clear structure also and there is an execution plan approved and implemented in the uh, country 
and overall uh, uh, rate it was 73.3 a competence a competency and resources the team evaluate that there is an expert field which is then the acceptable level uh, development resources this item need uh, improvement resources availability we need it's this they, uh, they evaluate this as a poor point or as a as a improvement point that's mean we need an ex we need resources in the sustainability and the climate change that understand how to evaluate how and hand how to implement and run the project for uh, uh, related to the climate change in terms of data and artificial, artificial uh, intelligence data needs identify the required data it's have a strong uh, and mature level data structure need to, de to de develop and managing data operation is achieved at acceptable level for modeling of the analysis uh, identifying the analysis model 20 we have weaknesses in uh, the study shows that there is a weaknesses in the analysis model which type of model we need to use to understand uh, or to evaluate the data collected from the site it has an impact of the climate change or not there is also a point of improvement to identify data and mining tools which is its uh, a weakness in data collections data storage you have they have strong uh, data storage uh, system and uh, tools in order to collect this data overall rating system it's need to improvement finally for monitoring and controlling data report will structure report there is uh, available in the market and governance will uh, police uh, will establish policy and legal in the framework for the enforcement uh, for such uh, item for the communication and dashboard still we have weaknesses but the overall of this uh, monitoring and controlling was uh, rated as uh, mature so both monitoring and controlling and the climate change uh, score uh, as a mature there is a way of improvement in this level uh, in the future the result also for benchmarking as we see this data uh, previously uh, we did the benchmarking for other entity uh, i used to collect data from uh, internet and from uh, consultant they have access to the uh, to outside data uh, overall average it's uh, the area better than the benchmark result uh, but still uh, it's better in monitoring and controlling because there is weaknesses in data need and competency and resources in conclusion the case study proved that there is opportunity to improve the resources and modeling process to achieve climate change targets the maturity level of artificial intelligence and data management can be improved through monitoring and controlling process. Finally, the way forward, the future research can use this maturity model assessment uh, to develop an international vulnerability and resilience index uh, and include it in the competitive, uh, competitiveness index in the uh, over the world. Finally, thank you all for listening.